local, live, late breaking. This is KMAX News at 10. Anxious preparations for a return to school for more than just the usual reasons. I'm Brian Mush. I'm Lauren Motter. The Lubbock Health Department is also anxious about how to contain the coronavirus amid that surge the state hasn't seen in over a year. KMAX Ryan Chandler reports on what Lubbock ISD is doing to stay safe and what parents can do to make this school year a success. The Lubbock Health Department is reporting positivity rates as high as 20% in their clinic this week. The Delta variant of COVID-19 is far more contagious and more likely to sicken and hospitalize children. Governor Abbott will not allow Lubbock ISD to require masks and no child under 12 years old is vaccinated. A perfect storm that has public health experts worried for when thousands of students return to the classroom next week. Back to school but not quite back to normal. Lubbock ISD is preparing to welcome 27,000 students back to class Monday amid a deadly surge of the Delta variant. The Lubbock Health Department says this new strain of COVID-19 is twice as infectious, especially in school-aged children. With the previous strain of COVID, we'd see one positive person and maybe they'd infect three people. With Delta, we can see that one positive person infecting six. Um, so we've definitely seen the number of people testing positive and also the number of people that are exposed coming to get tested much higher. Lubbock ISD Superintendent Kathy Rolo reassures parents they are using every safety measure at their disposal. So we will continually monitor our numbers and see where we are. Um, one of the things that we are absolutely doing as a district, even though it's not required by the state, is contact tracing. So if there is a positive case, we will notify those around that student that there has been an identified positive case and to monitor for symptoms. But they will not issue a mask mandate, at least not as long as Governor Abbott's executive order stands. That leaves district and city leaders urging the community to use the one best defense against this surge. One of the things that we have been strongly encouraging is for any student or adult who is eligible to get the vaccine to please do so. And until then, to choose other ways to make this school year successful, even if you don't have to. The governor said we can't mandate them, but we need to encourage individuals to wear masks. We need to encourage children to wear masks. Keeping up those practices is what it's gonna take to keep school in session. Lubbock ISD also says they hope to provide the Pfizer vaccine to children five years and older this fall. Superintendent Rolo told me she expects the Federal Food and Drug Administration to approve the shot for those kids as soon as late September, clearing the way for a majority of students to become immune. The Lubbock Health Department says they've noticed four times as many people coming out to get their shots than just two weeks ago, and they say if you still haven't received your shot, you can walk into any pharmacy or health department center or your doctor's office. They say it will take a community effort to slow this virus before school starts in just five days.